I'm going to tell you a little story that I just went through recently involving Bell Canada and Shaw Cable. Excuse me. Right now, at the time, I should say, I had Bell Canada for the phone line, normal landline phone, and I was paying roughly $50 a month for something I didn't use very often anyway, but I wanted it. And it was actually more reliable than cell phones. You get cut off and, you know, you hit roaming towers. Because I'm right on the U.S. border, I tend to hit U.S. towers and then I get charged. Whatever. And the cable on the internet is through Shaw. I've been with Bell Canada for roughly seven to eight years for their landline. They never called to offer me anything. Oh, thank you for being a loyal customer. You know, we'd like to offer you this for being with us for so long as a way of saying thank you. They did fuck all in a seven years time. Shaw Cable calls me up and they say, well, mister, if you are prepared to switch from your bell to Shaw and make it phone cable and internet with us, we'll give you the first three months free for the phone and then after that, $15 a month as part of the package. And it was really good. You know, I'm all about saving money as long as the quality is there. So I was tempted to go along with it and the only question was the long distance. I don't make a long, lot of long distance calls, but I would like the option of it. So I inquired about their free long distance in North America. Because they have had that in the past. And I know customers, in fact, my last landlord has that deal as we speak, or as I speak. So I questioned her about it, and she says to me, quote, oh, I'm sorry, mister, that deal just ended today. And I said, you've got to be freaking kidding me. And she said, no, I'm sorry, it did. All the employees, we didn't know about it until we came into work this morning, and we were informed that deal no longer exists. And I said, why did you wait until today to call me? Why couldn't you call me yesterday when the deal was, you know, still active? And I don't remember her response to that. I knew she was lying through her fucking teeth. I wanted to expose her for it, and I kind of did. And she said, well, it's the only re I was going back and forth, you know, I would like this deal, and they, they don't have it, or excuse me, they would say, we don't have it. And I was upset that they waited that day to call me when they could have called me yesterday. So anyway, she said, the long distance, is that the only thing from stopping you from switching? And I said, yeah, I would like the free long distance in North America. Others have it. I want it too. And she put me on hold. She would say, okay, I'll put you on hold for a few moments. I'll go talk with my supervisor and see what we can do. She puts me on hold. She probably just put the mute button down on her little headset. Played Tetris or Yahtzee handheld or something. And then came back after two or three minutes. And said, well, I spoke with my supervisor. And I have authorization to give you that free long distance. And it would be anywhere in North America for the next year. Free at no charge. And then we went a little bit longer, and I finally switched. The two key points in this is, number one, why the fuck Bell Canada couldn't offer me anything? Maybe not the free long distance, but maybe a lower phone bill. Or if you're going to keep me at $50 a month, give me free long distance. or something to keep me. They didn't. After seven years, they didn't offer me a fucking thing. Shaw Cable calls up and offers me this deal. It would be saving me almost, well, 35 to $40 a month. You know, it's kind of a no-brainer to switch. So Bell Canada, little pricks they are, they couldn't offer me anything before or after I switched. They didn't even make an attempt. But Shaw Cable are saying that their free long distance in North America ended that very morning. Bull shit, capital B, capital S. I've been a telemarketer before. It sucks. I know that you have a computer screen that has these little offers. And when I give you a response, you hit a button combination where a thing comes up on the screen and you respond, maybe not word for word, but basically what they have on the screen. That offer was there. You were just trying to get me to switch without giving me that offer. Which Shaw Cable lied to me right on the phone. And Bell Canada little greedy cocksuckers they are, couldn't even offer me anything, didn't offer me anything in the seven years I was with them, when I was with them. Pathetic.
pathetic, don't you think? Don't you think after being with a company for seven, eight years that you'd offer them something as being a loyal customer as a way of saying thank you? After I switched, I got a letter from Bell Canada and they said in the letter, I wish I had it here, basically speaking, we thank you for your time with us. We're sorry to see you go. If you have any questions or anything we can do for you, you know, give us a call back. Yeah, I don't fucking think so. $50 a month for something I don't use and you couldn't offer me something for being loyal? Fuck you. Companies should reward not just new employees, but definitely reward their loyal customers, I should say. I don't understand it.